Hi everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. This will be a cloth pad tag video. Um, I was sent some questions to answer. Um, so this will, uh, so question number one is when did you start your period? Um, I was 11 and it was during the summer holidays between year six and year seven. Um, where did you start your, pe your first period? Um, I was at home. Um, because it was the holidays. Um, my parents were divorced at the time, so I could have been with my dad, but I was actually with my mum at the time. Um, were I, was I prepared for my first period? Um, emotionally, yes. Um, I lived with my mother, older sister, and another adult woman who was my mother's best friend at the time. Um, so uh, I was very aware of period I knew that all the women got it I think it was just probably something that I expected to get um I can't remember. it was a very long time ago but <clears throat> um so practically no um I think when I went and told my mum that I had my period I think I had a headache the night before I remember telling her I felt really sick the night before and then the next morning I woke up with my period and I remember going and talking to her and speaking to her and saying oh I've got my period and she went, oh, so I think she just gave me a couple of liners and she's like, I'll pick some up from the sh some more stuff up from the shops tomorrow. So it kind of was just passed off as something that happened. And I suppose because I was only 11 and I just got it, it was probably really light and liners would have sufficed. <clears throat> um, what were the first products that you used? So obviously the liners I just mentioned, so then whichever brand that my mother had used at the time, uh, but all through my teenage years and actually uh, kind of into my 20s, I used a very popular Australian brand called Libra. Um, so that's Libra there. This is um, the disposable pad. And they also had uh, tampons. So I am trying to fix my lighting at the moment. It's, uh, it's all of a sudden got very, very bad. Um, but... So I use Libra, it's a kind of a very popular company in Australia. Um, and I use them for many years. During my 20s, I then started using another uh, very popular brand book called, called Carefree because they had better super tampons. And I also used Kotex, uh, U by Kotex for sports liners. Um, so I ended up kind of using three different brands for three different purposes. Yep. Um, what do you prefer to use um, when I I prefer to use external p protection um, but the menstrual cup has literally uh, saved my life at work it is so much easier I used to do 12 hour shifts um, and having to carry around enough tampons to actually cover that shift was frustrating um, so now I can use I can just I just wear my menstrual cup at work um, and use cloth pads outside of that um, but obviously in general, this is a cloth pad YouTube channel, so I obviously prefer in general to use cloth pads and menstrual cups over using disposables. Um, so yeah, at work, menstrual cups, in just general life, cloth pads. Um, what are my favourite supplies? I have done some uh, top five vids um, and... Uh, so you can go and have a look at them for my top five pads. Um, so what are my least favourite products? Obviously, this is going to be disposable products, tampons and pads. They caused me a lot of pain and they uh, caused cramping and all sorts of stuff and abrasions and contact dermatitis and just lots of awful stuff happens with disposables that I just do not suffer with uh reusables um how would you how would i describe my uh period uh since switching to uh reusables it's been far easier to deal with manage and i now take very few painkillers it's just all in all a far better experience when i was on disposables i would have described my uh <clears throat> periods as exceptionally heavy um, my cramping was exceptionally heavy I would uh, around my uh, vaginal entry I would get very very painful sore red I would get contact dermatitis 
so I was already itchy and inflamed and unhappy and my cervix would always ache so it just was an all in all unhappy time on disposables so um, now far far easier I very rarely if ever cramp I might get a few minor things I generally tend to get breast tenderness um, and I also get very very fatigued on my period um, I have an average, I mean, an average period is between 40 and 80 millilitres uh, um, cycle. And I I can lose 40 to 45 millilitres in one day, generally on my second day. So I can get very, very fatigued and tired on that day. Um, any bad period stories? Um, well, I have one of each, I suppose. Um, when I was using uh, disposables, I... Uh, had a meeting and it was my heavy day as I just mentioned I, would, I could bleed 40 mils in one day quite easily and that led to I think after the meeting so I was probably about so I used to change every hour and a half on my heavy day and so I think this meeting must have gone for two hours so I didn't I would have changed before and then I would have gone to the bathroom after so let's just say it was three hours before I got to change I literally went to the bathroom, went to the toilet, pulled down my pants and the tampon literally fell out um, and because it, it was just so full and I was wearing a super um, that in three hours it just had completely soaked through the tampon, it had fallen out and so it fell out as I took, like it was sitting on, you know, on my like on my uh, liner that I was wearing um, had flooded my liner, had gone all over my underwear, it was just like horrendous. Um, my kind of, so that, yeah, it was just an awful situation. Um, so my bad kind of, well, it's probably more hilarious, just, um, reusable story is that when I, um, went, it was the first time I was using my Ruby Cup, and, uh, so I changed to the Ruby Cup and went to work. Um, my period was heavier than I expected, which meant I had to change in the middle of the day. And I was lucky that I worked in an office with a, um, like single bathroom with a sink in it. Um, so I did that. So I went in there to change it. And because I hadn't used the Ruby cup before, I didn't realize how soft it was. And it is a really, really soft latex. And it's really, really, so when I, um, removed the Ruby cup, um, cause I'd gone from the cup I was using before was the lunette, which is very, very, uh, rigid. Um, so you can, it maintains its integrity a lot, uh, kind of easier or better just because it's far more rigid. Whereas the Ruby cup doesn't maintain its integrity as well. Um, just because it's a far, far softer silicon. So I managed to drop this cup of, and it was full, like it was completely full to overflowing. Um, cause this has been five hours maybe. Um, five, six hours and yeah, it overflowed and so I spilled it everywhere. So that was pretty bad. Um, but then after that I realized how soft the, uh, Ruby cup was and just compensated for it because the Ruby cup, if you've seen my reviews, is one of my favorite cups. Um, and the next question is, do you have regular periods? Uh, the answer is yes, I do. Um, it's approximately every 26 days and I use um, an app called the P Period Tracker, uh, which you can get from uh, the Google. I, I use uh, Android, so I use it from the Google App Store. Um, and how long are you on your period for? Um, approximately five days. So um, sometimes the my flow designation can change, but generally um, I can get like a brown pre pre-bleeding I guess or brown you know spotting first day is pretty light second day is pretty heavy third day is less heavy than the second but still quite heavy um and then fourth day and fifth day are really really light and increasingly lighter and lighter and lighter too I stop on the fifth day um that was it for this cloth pad tag um send me through any further cloth pad tags that you'd like me to do and I'll do them other than that. Have a nice day. Bye.